Look at this little guy. Got himself captured. Is he being worshipped, or is he being enslaved? It's unclear. There are a lot of dead ones outside, so I'm guessing it's probably the latter. Now that eye makes me think of the Vortigaunts. So we might be running into a colony or gathering of them, forming their own kind of resistance against the Combine. So that's definitely the way we're supposed to go. It looks like we might be able to get through that door. There's no handle, but we can see through the crack there. So let's get over this ledge. Oh, that is menacing and cool. <laughs> it's hard to convey just how interesting this is, because you see a lot of stuff like this in TVs and games, but unless you actually experience it in 3D with stereoscopic vision, it's hard to really perceive how cool a setup like this can be. So, it's a little bit frightening walking towards it. Uh, we've got a fire alarm here, which I guess is some kind of doorbell, so... It seems like it's going to be loud and may bring enemies, so I'm going to go ahead and try it out. Oh, I thought that was going to be some kind of, like, air raid siren. Whoa! Oh. Hello, sir! The Alex fans. <laughs> you received my message. I did? Come into Okay. Thanks. You are welcome. So, what's that Vortigaunt doing here? Mm. Oh, that was rude. Cooking. Right, but I mean, in general. I have a brain injury. Oh, I'm sorry to... My brain is injured. That's terrible, Ow. and I hope... Look, I'm actually pretty busy looking for my father. The... Eli... Eli Bands. Yes. The Combine have him, and I really do need to get moving. The Combine, yes. Do not go yet. I must show you something. Look, I appreciate This way. I can't stick around. I... It is important. I know, I'm sure it is. The Alex Vance must go this way anyway. Okay. Oh. Fair enough. Hard to argue with that logic. So it looks like he's got some kind of sweet kitchen set up. I saw some of those headcrabs over there look pretty terrified, which, even if you are facing an enemy as threatening as a headcrab, seeing him shake and shiver in fear is still enough to melt your heart a little bit. So let's ooh, get through these corpses and see what our Vortigaunt friend wants to show us. Everything, but I really have to go. And I'm sorry, but I really don't have time for riddles. No riddles. The Kamba drilled here. I am severed from the Vortessence. I am alone in my head. I'm sorry. Look, if if I can, if I run across your friends, I will see what I can do. You have saved my kid. I have it. Then you will. Courage, Alex Vance. Okay, is that it? I uh, wish I had those powers. They might come in handy a little bit later. But we're going to... Head on to this mission. I don't know if it's my mission or his mission, or perhaps they're both one in the same. Where are we headed? 
What am I looking at here? Oh, a star. Is this an extra life? I will help the Alex lands. <laughs> Look to the northern stuff. Why? For guidance. Okay, thanks. Are you done helping? I am not. Here. Sustenance. Uh, oh, I'll awesome. Eat it later. Delicious. Thanks for the help. You will be welcome. Well, kind of thanks? I don't know. Maybe he'll be helping us in some unknown way. We'll have to look to the North Star. But uh, unfortunately, I didn't catch his name, so we won't be able to thank him later. You know, I'm standing here kind of wishing that there was a better way to do loading screens, but that might not be the case if you're trying Alex, to create an experience Alex, which is flowing the way that this okay? is. Russell, I'm good. How's Dad? They've got him on the train. He's on the move. You've got to find Fairview Junction before they get there. I'm working on it. Tried to find some ammunition in there. Looks like something I should be able to open. So here's another mask. Let's go ahead and put that on. Oh, it seems to be making my vision a little bit strange. <laughs> so we'll survive without it. Uh, but we have even more important supplies in here in the form of ammunition and some kind of booze. What is this? Probably some nice wine? Let's crack it open. That's probably not how they intended. So what is this guy supposed to do for us? We've got a broken jackhammer. Uh, maybe this will be our new weapon. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it with me. And we have a shell here. That's weird. That is weird. Hmm, not sure that I like what that means. Infestation control. So this guy, as cool as it is, I'm thinking it's not gonna be very helpful. Instead, switch over to our tried and true protection method. I don't like sounds coming from dark corners of the room. Oh gosh! Is that guy a, uh... I don't know what that was that I was looking at. A grenade? So anything happen when you cut out? You're not gonna believe this, but I ran into a Vortigaunt. A Vortigaunt? What was he doing down there? Hiding. He just escaped from the combine. What did he say? You ever meet a Vortigaunt? He said crazy Vortigaunt stuff. So I'm guessing that this means that they're invulnerable from the top, and I can only shoot their underbellies. Now, if they're on the walls like this, something I can shoot through, that seems to be no problem. But if they're just walking around on the ground, it seems like I'm only going to be able to take them out if they're jumping at me, or I guess doing that little move. So they're going to give us an opportunity to shoot them. So I'm going to take this lock out, take a look around. Anything I can use my multi-tool. We're going to need a fuse. I'm guessing the fuse is in there. This guy's not doing so great. Uh, yep, nothing else cool here. Not even any resin, so what was that, though? This is definitely something. Oh, ammunition. Just looked a little bit strange. So let's get over through here. What is that? Okay, that's the fuse that we need. You know what? I'm not even sure that these are fuses. Maybe just some kind of portable power source. I guess there's a name for that. Battery. <laughs> Russell, Russell. Oh boy. I didn't eat it. Right. Of course you didn't. Now that's that's the right decision. Oh, that zombie has a shotgun. He has a shotgun. Where? In his hand? That's a shotgun. All right. Well, let's. I guess grab his shotgun ammo. And while we can grab that, I'm not sure we can grab his shotgun. Hmm, we're going to have to release him somehow, I guess, hopping down there and messing with that winch. Unless we can do this some other way. <laughs> no, my accuracy is not that good. So I think I may be able to jump down there, but I don't want to take any damage. So let's take the stairs and then crouch through this underground section. Now, I haven't found any resin lately, which is a little bit strange, because it seems... Seems to be everywhere earlier. Our Vortigaunt friend probably came through here. I guess he has enough Vortigaunt magic he didn't need to grab this shotgun. Oh, there's some resin. 
Oh darn, this doesn't even look like it goes all the way through. So I just spent all that time walking down here for a uh, piece of resin. <laughs> Which, how did how does this stalactite form? Oh, I guess that's oh that's gross. It's pulsing and being just gross and threatening. So let's get out of here. <laughs> Instead, we're gonna have to jump down and break our knees. So I still got this resin. Let's stow that. And we're gonna hop down here. Oh, sandbags to help cushion our fall. So this is what we need to operate. Uh, I guess it's got a pipe stuck in there. Some kind of PVC. Whoa, 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 whoa! Stop! Come back! <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Let's get this shotgun and uh -oh. get out of here. Was that something coming through there? Oh, jeez. They're coming through both sides. Come on, Mr. Shotgun. I can't operate this. I'm also panicking just a little bit and a lot, and him flailing around isn't helping. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? Open. Open this up. Oh, and then get the pipe back, obviously. Oh, jeez. Maybe I need better controllers. Where did that come from? <laughs> That looks good. Come on, get back in there. There's the hole. No wonder those reflectors are there. Ugh. Precision tracking, this is not. So that should do it, and this is probably going to trigger the next event when I pick this guy up. Alright. Load it how exactly? Open shotgun. It is a uh, single shot? Over under? Huh. I, I guess so, or, or that's the whole magazine? Two shots in there? Oh gosh, this is complicated. What the heck? This is- what? I don't understand. <laughs> These mechanics, but we've got one zombie- Oh, there's one right behind me! No way! <laughs> How do I do this? Panicking! Oh. Is that enough? Alright, well, I think I have a moment. So let's grab another shell, click that back in, cock it, two more shots, and he's good, and we dropped that other guy in. <laughs> that was a little bit scary because the controls on this shotgun are very unintuitive. What was this here? Oh, I thought this was some ammo, one of them may have dropped. And this is a two-shot shotgun, how interesting. So can we load it up with one more? Two shells left. Yeah, I guess we can. I'm out. Nope, that's the end of my ammunition, so... We don't know how much this thing holds for now, but uh, we have three shots left with the shotgun, still able to go back to our handgun. And that answers one of my earlier questions, which is, are there other weapons aside from this upgradable 1911? The answer to that seems to be yes. But with only three shots for the shotgun, seeming like that is going to be my most valuable resource, the shotgun shells. So time to explore. Two more shots left here. I've got plenty of ammunition for my 1911, 80 rounds. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this guy topped off. Wonder if there's anything cool down there. I'm not bold enough to go look though. <laughs> so some more food for our Vortigaunt friend. Oh, barnacles. I was wondering, like, how do I get up there? Is this some kind of elevator? But, uh, unsure why there would be four barnacles here. Maybe one of them has some shotgun ammunition for us? This is like some kind of trading ammunition, right? Assuming one of them drops ammo. Well, that was a waste of, uh, a lot more than four shots each. But luckily I have enough to spare. 60, so I actually lost more ammunition than I thought I should have. So let's head down the final one. It's always the last one you check, right? Well, obviously it's going to be the last thing you check. Why would you keep checking? Yeah, these guys didn't fare so well. Anything in there? I'm feeling like I should be finding some shotgun shells. Oh, speaking of which, there they are. 
Oh, cool. I grabbed uh, multiple in one hand. Huh. So if I have multiple in my backpack, how many do I pull out? Three shells left. Uh, two at a time, I guess? Uh, I can't really get this guy to open. And there's not anything in there anyway. So let's see if we can load this up with any additional shells. shells. Five. Six. And that's my last one, so it's looking like seven total for this guy. Which is, uh, pretty good. Go on, flip. There we go. It's got some sights, too. I'm guessing we can upgrade those. And, uh, given it's a shotgun, I'm not sure that we're gonna need to. Let's take a look through here. <laughs> What's up, bud? Oh. Missed ya. And actually missing a lot. I need to use these sights! Oh, gosh! Ah, oh, get him off me! Get him off! Yeah, I know! How do I... Oh, gosh, I almost shot myself in the chest with the shotgun. I thought I could pull him off, and I tried to. Nearly dead. So I'm gonna try and grab this guy. And inject into body, hand, or leg. Uh, I'm guessing leg, that would be nice. There we go. I can't see my legs, but uh, they're around here somewhere. So that gave me one and a little bit of health. Uh, that was scary. <laughs> I really messed up that whole situation, didn't I? So let's go back to my handgun. And try and operate this a little more smoothly. That guy's threatening, isn't he? Anything in here we can use? Actually, empty. No, it's not empty. <laughs> hey, buddy. So there are my sights. I'm gonna need a little bit more damage on this thing, I think. Oh, head crabs. How are you surviving? Well, that ammunition that I had earlier going away pretty quickly. Now, I thought I shot him in the head crab head, but the head crab remained, so maybe that's just a new mechanic that I have to deal with. Taking out kind of two enemies at once. So there's an upgrading station. I don't have any resin for you, unfortunately. Well, not enough. I do have nine. Oh, I'm one shy. That being said, okay. Give me a second here to get my gun out, Mr. Headcrow. Thank you for standing by. So we need to find one of those health grubs, health larva. Something over there. I think that's it. Very good. Something making noise over there, too. Uh, oh, there's one resin, so maybe we can upgrade the shotgun. I'm gonna grab some health first. Try and prioritize that way. Oh, this guy's making noise. <laughs> so heal me up. This should, I assume, get me back to full health. Perfect, with a little bit of grub left to spare for whoever comes next. So I'll shut that, and uh, I guess we're leaving that in there. Some noises coming from over there. So where was that last resin? Don't want to leave that. And let's take a look at this. Oh yeah, I forgot that we had like a puzzle to solve here. So it, I'm guessing that the puzzles are all going to be, you know, the same type of puzzle for each thing that we have to interface with. And that's just like a three-dimensional connect the dots. So here's the upgrading station. Now it shows a picture of a face there. I'm wondering if we can upgrade ourselves, but given that it says weapon, I'm guessing that's a no. So I'm gonna give you my shotgun. And you know what? I, I do want to just upgrade with something right now just to kind of keep progress. The auto loader seems cool. It's looking like it's adding something to the side, like a side saddle. But we're just gonna have enough for the laser sight. So let's grab our five stacks of resin. I'm pretty much a pro at this now. <laughs> and upgrade it, that's gonna send us back down to zero. So it's, it's nice that the uh, combine fabricator is able to help us out here because oh, this, I'm not sure is standard issue combine tech. But what happened with this guy? Uh, it's making a circle, which is difficult to see on farther walls. And honestly, if I'm kind of up close, 
It may be hard to shine on enemies. Maybe it will reveal them in some kind of cool way. We'll just have to see. Like, I was not expecting the 1911 to have the cool threat scope that turns red on, I guess, I guess just head crabs. Maybe just not people. Because we're not supposed to shoot, you know, humans. <laughs> they are zombies. I wish the, uh, the hollow sight was a little bit more... Oh gosh. I always forget to have my handgun out. I'll be honest, I kind of wish I didn't have this sight because it's stopping me from really using my my innate like shooting reflexes and forcing me to acquire the sights every time. So there's some resin for us. It's definitely nice to have. And some other Oh gosh, no. <laughs> oh darn it. Let's move this guy away. And just use telekinesis. Uh, I was thinking this was going to be the way to go. I forgot to keep touching things. I, I was like uh, amazed by that <laughs> in the first episode. <laughs> and it's not necessarily that it's worn off. Uh, I guess that is exactly what it is. I just uh, got used to the fact that you can mess with everything. So where am I supposed to be going here? Oh. Well, I kind of forgot that this existed. I went on a significant detour there. And, uh, I don't like that the game is making me go into spaces like this. So I'm gonna try and stay prepared for them. What are you? Creepy little... hook... arms? I'm surprised they're not attacking me, although I guess that's a good relief. So let's get on out of here and continue our mission. Somebody's just leaving us, like, shotgun breadcrumbs everywhere. So something's going on over here. Dude, really uh, wish I had... Need a flashlight. Yep, that's I my thought right. exactly. Let's go ahead and look for that flashlight. I'm guessing he has something for us. There's some resin over there. I'll try and remember it on my way back. Two guys here. Go ahead and grab that. Oh, no! Oh, wow, that was a great dodge, perhaps. <laughs> now, is that head crab gonna do something? No. He's going to cooperate by being dead. That was really interesting seeing my real-life reflexes prevent me from getting hit in the head by that bottle. <laughs> so this looks like... Oh gosh! Oh gosh! That was frightening. <laughs> How much? Three shots left for this. Alright, thanks pal. Standing up for me. Now can I shoot through this? I can, so that was good for science. Uh, is this where I interface? Yes, it is. Hmm. Let's try and follow this through the wall. Now that we're here... Send that back. Easy enough. Is this where I need to go? I don't really want my ankles to be grabbed. Uh, but like, we can open that up. Maybe I need to use two hands, and that is scary. <laughs> uh, there's a, a guy's legs there. He's definitely moving now. Now I'm wondering if I can actually take him out by just shooting his foot. There we go. So now there's a head crab around there somewhere. There he is. Being upset, trying to jump through that wall. But I'm too smart for him. Well, maybe not. Hmm. Alright, so am I gonna let myself just get hit by this head crab? I think so. We're gonna take one... Quick attack! Ah, there he is! <laughs> okay. Ooh, look at that guy! That is a creepy long hallway. We got some health over there. That's also not a great sign. Kinda means we're going to be expected to take damage here. This looks like a boss battle. I'm gonna try and, uh, not a boss battle, but maybe just like an arena. We've got the sights here. It's kinda dark. That might help. Although I don't see the sights shining on any of the walls. So I'm hoping it'll shine on my enemies and illuminate them when I'm on target. Ooh, should we go down here? 
or go back and see if I can open up that other passageway. I think we're just going to go ahead and go for it. I think I also have some ammunition. We can load this guy up. I'm going to be probably too panicked to know how to load this up, so I'm going to start with the shotgun, and then we'll uh, go to the handgun if things get sticky. Whew. It is dark. Everything all right? Is that no, something okay. I can grab? Nope. I'm good. Maybe that is. That is uh, shotgun ammo. Cool. Four shells. I don't really want to go right down the middle, try and discover everything around the sides. Why did you start swaying? I don't like any part of this. Did I say this isn't supposed to be a horror game? Because it's starting to feel like it is a horror game. <laughs> that is pretty horrifying. Hmm. So let's grab your... That's a tiny... It's like a keychain flashlight. Uh, oh, okay. Some stuff over there. Before... We grab this, and then quickly turn around, and battle. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, attach flashlight to gravity glove. I guess my left one, so... I gotta change, and then... There we go. Now, gun. There we go. Something's coming. I guess I have a flashlight now, that's nice. Hey, buddy. Is that a fast head crab? I think it is. Two shots from this range. My sights didn't seem to help me much at all there. Uh, okay, there are more coming. While I'm still not panicked, I'm going to reload this. Oh, there they are. They're going to jump at me. Man, I missed him in the air. That's upsetting. Now, what else do we have to deal with? You know, I'm not as scared as I feel like I should be right now. Any ammunition left? Kind of hard to see. A lot of ammo left. Wow, look at me. I think we're gonna have to go that way. This is... This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> it's, it's like really the, uh, the dog Press. in the on-fire yeah. room. This Can is fine. <laughs> talk? About what? About anything. Literally anything. Well, I think that given our situation, your irrational fear of the dark is actually quite appropriate. You know, I can give you easily a hundred reasons to be terrified. Okay, that was my fault. I'll be more specific next time. Well, I'm out of the scary part. I can definitely sympathize with and Alex not there. Unlike yourself, is also sensitive to the dark. Oh yeah. Meaning it should go on automatically when the lights go out. Oh, thanks. Hey, come on, resin. I can definitely sympathize with Alex there in uh, being afraid of the dark. Russell said it was an irrational fear of the dark. However, I would say that the fact that you're not able to see tiny little fast head crabs which might be running at you would give you a very rational reason to be fearing that dark. <laughs> that feels good. Whoa! Hey, what was that? <laughs> I was going to say it feels good to be able to just use an open hand and push open a door as you would be able to in real life. So let's head back to my Alex multi-tool. Oh, there we go. Take a look through the wall. Nice. Is that going to go away completely? Good. Now we just have to do what we had done before. And I think we're all set. Look at these guys. They are... Woo! Looks like one is being hatched or is incubating in there. Oh, gosh! Oh! <laughs> that was like the most unthreatening jump scare ever. And yet... <laughs> <laughs> it really got me. Oh, that little bit of extra music did not help. And the fact that the light's going on is uh, unsettling. Oh, come on. Hey. I gotta make better shots here. This is kind of nice, though. They're at, like, a safe distance. I can just uh, try and target them. Now, are they all going to do that underbelly thing? Whoa, oh, hey! Wow, they do nice little jumps, don't they? Okay, so there's that resin that I was supposed to keep track of. Whew. Is that where one came out of? Probably. Let's get a move on. We're supposed to go down here. I wonder if we would have been right, able... Russ. Really need you to talk again. Absolutely. Be specific. Um, before. What was life like before the Combine? Ah, excellent. 
Alex, have you ever heard of a club sandwich? Uh, nope, not once. Right. To make a club sandwich, you need to start with bread. Not from a bread line, from a bakery across the street. Baked that day, okay? You add tomatoes, lettuce, not vegetable paste, fresh. Then you add bacon. That's from an animal we used to call the pig. You toast the bread and you put all that inside it. You guys had all that? That's insane. It is, and I'm not done. Then you add a second sandwich on top of the first one. You put ham in it, also from a pig, and turkey from an animal we used to call the turkey. And more <laughs> tomato, more lettuce, and a bunch of other things I'm forgetting. It was six inches tall and weighed a pound and had a dozen ingredients from five different continents. It was the most impossible food item you could imagine in any age before that. Wow. I know, right? That is... Wow. Thanks, Russ. You're welcome, Alex. So thank you, Russell, for making me salivate with that description of a club sandwich and the turkey, which we call the turkey. Uh, I do seem to have made things difficult for myself. There we go, we got the resin. Okay. Oh, hey! <laughs> Look at you, buddy! That was gonna be a close one. I actually don't think I need any health, so we can go ahead and leave you alone uh, for you to pounce on whoever comes next. So let's go ahead. I don't even see any of the little grub containers. So I wouldn't be able to use that if I wanted to just yet. So let's grab that ammo. Up to 60. Pretty good. And I guess we're going through here. I'm hoping that we're going to get done with this dark, creepy section soon. Grab one of these. Kind of like a force multiplier. Kind of makes it hard to use my flashlight, though. Hey, pal. I'm wondering what the distance is on getting hurt by these. That seems to be at least outside of it. More res. Hey, 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 hey. I think that's just a, nope, that's an evil head crowd. Whoa. Didn't dodge that guy very well, did I? So I'm going to reload because things are creepy. It sounded like a regular... Oh, no. Speedy guy, maybe. He had a regular head crab, but that was, I think, the first one that we saw that wasn't, like, a converted combine guy, maybe? Not sure. Shotgun ammo. I wish I had flashlights, like, I could just put that on my chest. Oh, God. I hate this a lot. There you are. You got a nice uh, little thing there. Can you hurt me with that? I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> He's got a container of bleach. Um, might be the most powerful weapon known to zombies. That is aside from the fear which they bring. So enough ammo here. Let's go over to the shotgun. It's all full. Kind of hard to see things when I have to flick them towards me. And uh, grab this gasoline or kerosene. Not sure what it is. Some more stuff over there I can... Oh, I'm glad that it lights up at least a little bit. It's extremely dark here. This isn't good. Hey! Ah, ah, where are you? <laughs> okay, still that... Ooh, that may have hurt me a little bit. And I don't think I got them. That guy had something on his wrist which has exploded. Making me yet more uncomfortable. I'm gonna reload this guy blind. And, uh, I have six shells in reserve. I'm gonna leave that because it seems to be tripping me up trying to, uh, use my flashlight and see them. Look at these sights! They're not helping at all, even in the pitch darkness. You know, in the pitch darkness, they're actually impossible to see without that little anklet this guy's got. One shot taking them down, though. Is that a hit point that I want? Oh, gosh! Wow, he didn't make his presence known at all. <laughs> now, is that glowing part something that I want to hit? Is that a weak point for them? Or is that something that's going to explode? And what was that? Uh, an enemy gurgle? Head crab, are you going to come through there? That would be my guess. <laughs> and I'm not sure there's anything I can do about it. He's probably going to come at me as soon as I move this, right? Oh, I can move it with one hand. Ah, okay. Whew. 
Whew. Well, hopefully this leads to the outside because uh, I am done with the frightening dark sections. <laughs> oh no. So we're still underground in the quarantine zone. Looks like somebody was camping out here. He's got some cool glasses though, which I wish I could throw on. And uh, we've got a combine there. He's got something in his chest. I'm first gonna grab one of these health things. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hope no one's coming back here uh, to see that we've uh, pretty much destroyed their... Oh, maybe I can only hold one. Let's see, maybe one in each uh, wrist pocket. There we go. Nice. It's gonna be a little difficult to access. Wait, is that a dead combine soldier? Yeah. When you guys were off sealing the reactor, I saw the combine moving some pies in here. So, I guess they're interested in this place again. Right, we'll keep an eye out. Something's definitely up. Hmm, he's too heavy to pick up. I hear something happening above me. Can I use your oxygen tank or whatever you're breathing here? Maybe it's not... Wait a second, what is that hooked up to? Uh, his backpack, and then that goes over to the front. That's just a wire to this thing. Uh, it doesn't look like a regulator. I don't know what that plugs into. Maybe it's some kind of torch? It's like acetylene, maybe? Because he's just got, like, a regular filter canister gas mask. I don't know, I'm overthinking this, maybe. Uh, maybe I'm just trying to stall, because I don't want to have to go down there. <laughs> We're definitely definitely gonna be encountering something <laughs> and sorry I'm coughing a bit maybe I need his gas mask <laughs> we're definitely gonna be encountering something similar to him uh, he's feeling like a foreshadowing for something to come there's a lot of dead guys here maybe this is to show us that there were like vortigaunts that came through here hopefully because they're at least friendly enough let's uh, make sure that we're armed and finally my Sight is working again. That's nice. It didn't seem to want to. Alex, man heck, watch out! See it. Good shots. I didn't actually acquire my sights. I'm gonna try and use them up close like this to give you guys a more interesting experience. Does this man hack have anything for us? Perhaps not. Now, where is my flashlight? <laughs> I need to look into some of these drawers for some extra ammunition. I wish I could hang on to full magazines, but I believe it told me earlier that I can only put, or I mean, sorry, half full magazines. I believe it told me earlier that I can only use full magazines in my backpack. Okay, so right now, what it's like to live on Earth on a scale of one to ten? I'd say one to two. Yep, could always get worse. What would you rate it before the combine showed up? Oh, that's a toughie. I don't know. Uh, good day. I'd say six. Yeah, strong six. Six? That's not great. No, that's life, Alex. You know, it's not always great. Well, maybe we get the combine off Earth and we can shoot for, like, an eight. You know? Oh, an eight. Yeah, that really would be nice. Really nice. Okay, I'm not liking the barnacle making sounds over there. He's definitely grabbed our combine buddy. Uh, but we're going to uh, go ahead and let him make those noises because I'm going to take this all in stride. Is this a new one? I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, at least it's going to kind of tell me what to do here. Connect to the dots. Oh, it's a memory game. I gotta use the, uh, the other red one. Oh, well, I did not take a moment to look at which one was which. Okay, so we didn't fail. That's nice. I still hear that radio going off, which makes me think it's a live combine. That was just a lucky guess. And then process of elimination. All set. So, Alex Tool, thanks for the help. But now it's time for... I don't know. <laughs> just gun. <laughs> Stop making combine noises over there. You're terrifying me. So health, which uh, I could use just a little bit of that. And uh, I don't want to spend too much time around here, so I'm not going to look at all of those drawers. I already found one piece of resin. OK, 
Okay, there we go. I'm not sure what I accomplished by coming up here. Maybe just some supplies. So can we grab... Oh, wow. There's a lot more of you guys, aren't there? They did not do so great. These barnacles aren't the most threatening of enemies, so... Uh, I'm not sure how these guys managed to take over Earth. <laughs> Where's this guy's radio? I'm, I, again, still <laughs> surprised that I can touch things. Can we... Here, grab me your hands, and we'll swing you around. Rawr! <laughs> Combine pinata. Oh, look at this. It's evidence. Um, thinking I'm gonna want to clear this out, maybe, but I don't have a lot of ammunition, so maybe we'll just allow it to go ahead and be creepy. Grab my handgun just in case. Not quite shotgun readiness. Oh, they're gonna come at me this way, and I'm gonna wish I had cleared these out. Hmm. Should we just go in full panic mode? <laughs> Or should we do something about this? Uh, hmm. I think reckless panic mode. So let me make sure everything is all set up here. And... See how we do. Nothing yet. I was thinking that this was going to be the way I was going to have to defend. That looks like a direction we're going to have to go. So I'll... <laughs> maybe uh, let him recover before I... Spray too many rounds wildly. <laughs> wow, really? Nothing else over here? Touch, touch, touch. Touch, touch, touch. Hey, chair. Time to take a load off. <laughs> Alright, cool. I don't know what this does for us. Maybe it would have helped me save some ammo against this guy to the right, which is no longer with us. Uh, I am going to throw that in there and hope that it comes in handy. Having taken out both of those. Or actually, three of them. It's a nice one. I'm happy that it was... Okay, this is maybe the part where I'm going to have wished that I... Uh-oh. Where'd you go? Any more coming? Bring it on! Because I'm a sniper! <sighs> Missed that one shot. I was feeling pretty good about myself until that miss. <laughs> I can see that that has happened already in the form of the man hacks. I'm wondering if we'll get any kind of sniper rifle or lock on homing weapon for them. Though probably not. They're a good enemy to have to try and take out with this. Making me really happy that I had the uh, reflex sight attached. It does seem to help with those man hacks from a distance. Anything in here? Why does this room exist? <laughs> How annoying. Is there something up there that only super tall people can grab? <laughs> Perhaps. That'd be an interesting Easter egg. Hey, buddy. What are these noises that I'm hearing? I'm hoping that they're just fireworks. And not some kind of gigantic enemy coming at me. Oh, wow. How do I handle that guy? I'm gonna shoot his arm. And just do a little experiment to see what that does for us. Okay, so that explodes, huh? Did that get him? Nope, that was just the end of my ammunition. Okay, good to know that that is a weak point. I'm glad that I did that little experiment. Alrighty. So I'm wondering what we're actually encountering here. Uh, we're not supposed to be here. This block, whatever that means. They're hoarding some kind of materials. There's an explosive container over there. 
Um, looks like a chemical manufacturing section. Hey, wow, look at you. I don't see any weak points, so... We'll just go ahead and get rid of this, uh, gas container. So I was thinking that hearing that was going to mean that they were going to send more man hacks for me. I guess not. Maybe it's just an automated message. So let's go through that door, which we're definitely supposed to go through, and find one more piece of resin back here! No. Hm. <laughs> Is that... Uh... Empt oh, one bullet. Hmm. I don't know if I want to even bother with that. I obviously ejected it from my uh, weapon, so... Let's head back inside to uh, some more scariness. Well, I guess it's a pole-only door. Hey, look at those man hacks. They are not happy. Can I explode something behind you guys, maybe? Oh, that looks explosive, so we'll just practice our marksmanship. Oh, boy. Looks like I have a little bit more practicing to do before I'm an expert man hack shooter. But thank you to whoever threw this pipe in there. Oh, that's not the way to go. Hmm. Ladder? Or... There's gotta be a reason that I'm here. That's gonna be required, isn't it? So that's why I'm here, for sure. <laughs> uncooperative barrel, thanks so much. And uncooperative movement, also thank you. Okay, we've got this now. And, uh, there's definitely something outside that I need to grab. It seems that- oh, <laughs> here it is. Easy enough. Hey! <laughs> Come on, alright. My movement is on the left hand, and when I have to orient this strangely, it's changing the direction that I move. Okay, so it looks like clockwise. Oh. Is this going to be another scenario where I'm going to want to protect myself? I'm going to come through the bottom. Looks like I'm good. For now. But, uh, this doesn't really bode well, does it? So, when we get the Combine off of Earth, what are you going to do? I'm going full production mode on the Russells, of course. Oh, of course. We'll be sitting on a landmine. Gold mine, yep. So here's the plan. Conservative <laughs> estimate, I think a one year to get the world unconquered by the Combine, get them off the planet, so that's year one, then another year to mass produce the Russells. Although, just quietly, we will need to rebuild society first, you know, to get some basic infrastructure, jobs, money, that sort of thing, otherwise people won't be able to buy them, you know. So, uh, yeah, three year plan. Let's slot the infrastructure thing into year two. Oh, yeah, definitely. You're gonna wanna put that in year two. Hmm. Now why is that there? Oh, this is just, uh, the danger zone, eh? <laughs> so I'm gonna try and take out a few of these beforehand. I think I'm still too close for that one. I can just make it out. And it looks like our scope actually helps us, uh, find those, doesn't it? Oh, hey, hey, hey! Whoa! Alex. Alex. Am I dead? What else blew up? <laughs> As the calculated individual that I am, I seem to have calculated incorrectly in this instance because I initially believed that I would be able to clear some of these out to make things easier for me because I have imagined that I would have to be shooting around these. But it looks like it set off a chain reaction. And while I initially didn't see any explosive this direction, it uh, appears that maybe just the walls themselves are now infused with these flammable liquids and gases, so I'm gonna have to tread lightly and instead just try and not touch or shoot anything. So some resin over here, which means I'm going the wrong direction. <laughs> so probably meaning the shotgun is not gonna be the way to go. I don't want to have to spray into everything. That is a uh, whole lot of stuff to have to uh, avoid shooting. How'd they all get down here? 
And why would they all be down here? This isn't like some kind of storage facility. This is just the basement. Oh, darn. Hmm. So... Throwing explosives at these is not going to be... Oh, man, that guy... Okay, so this is just going to be shooting around those, which shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, careful, Russell. Thank you for telling me careful now. I could have used that a second ago when I was blowing myself up. You know, with all of the indications of when you're out of ammo, like this indicator on the hammer, and I guess looking at the side and perhaps just the slide being locked back, I seem to be doing a pretty bad job of knowing when to reload. But this guy's got no ammo for me. Now, who can I get past? I don't really want to take any chances, because if I get grabbed by one, I'm going to start spraying blindly at the ceiling, and I may end up taking a shot that I regret. So, three more shots in here. Uh, you know what? I might be able to get past this guy. I'm going to risk it. Okay. Good there. Uh, I'm not going to risk these two, though, because they seem to be pretty easy targets. Oh, I forgot that I even have that audible reminder that I'm out of ammunition. <laughs> I'm getting used to these guys. There's still an element of creepiness to them, though. I mean, just look at them. How can they not be? And that is just gross. <laughs> they just eject their stomach or whatever they end up doing. What is that? This guy's got a skull. He seems to have gotten himself a nice meal. Oh, that's another one of these, uh, syringes. I already have the two, so I seem to be good. That guy is <laughs> resting somewhere that I do not want him to be. And look at this. I'm going to have to shoot that, aren't I? Let's do this at an angle. There's no chance I'm going to... Oh. Some chance. Oh! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Just tried to walk that back. It didn't really work out the way I wanted. Um... That barnacle's got that. Might not be an issue. I haven't seen any walking enemies, which so, is nice. This whole three year Russell plan. I think, uh, I think you have a job for me. Job? Alex, you invented the Alex. Of course you can have a job. We could be partners. Oh, well, uh, hmm. Well, there would be stock options. Five to ten year vesting period, obviously. Could be very lucrative for you, Alex. Long term. I don't know what any of that meant, but sounds good, partner. Yep, sounds good. Alex? Alright, shooting at that pace is being a little bit annoying, so I'm gonna speed thing. Oh! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Skull. I don't really need things jumping out at me right now. I don't want to use any of these explosives against them. Also, oh man, look at this. This isn't a shot that I really feel the need to take. Ugh. Let's go ahead and just proceed. I'm gonna avoid using the shotgun at all costs. I'm not even sure how they would get to me or how I would get to them. I guess I'm gonna have to find out by going this direction. Let's keep on going and taking out some barnacles. This is just the entire way that this level's played, I guess. That guy's got some health that I can actually just pull out, but I don't need it. He's got that thing right behind him. I'm going to keep risking these shots, though. Okay. Um, whoa, what was it? Oh, he took my health thing! <laughs> I hope you enjoy that. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Oh, he grabbed it again. No, that was my empty mag. You can have that. I don't need that at all. Can you give me a full mag back? <laughs> That'd be quite nice. He can do my reloading for me. So where am I supposed to be going? I'm supposed to be getting that, uh, that wheel. So it's hard to, to grab that because when I have to flick it towards me, I lose the light. So I'm tempted to actually try and gravity glove it with my right hand. But that means putting away my weapon, which is not really ideal. Am I going the right way? I feel like I saw it a second ago. And then, uh, sort of lost track. 
I guess this is maybe... No. Hmm. Where's that wheel? Have I just... Oh, there we go. Oh, hey, pal. That is gonna explode. Is that gonna... Kill everything? I mean, probably not. I've got loads of time. <laughs> While he makes his way over here. I'm gonna grab this, uh... Resin first. That's gotta explode, right? But I think he's out of range. Oh my gosh! How is that fair? Alex! How is that fair at all? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, clearly I should have been panicking when I saw that barnacle grab the explosive container. Because it appears that it is going to actually end up getting me killed when it explodes. So I'm gonna have to play it this way. Last three shots or last three mags? Last three mags. So I've actually got plenty. It looks like he's got something for me. Grab this resin. And an extra mag for that gun. So can I just grab this? Or are you going to try and grab me? Nope, he's going to grab it. There we go. Nice catch. <laughs> Seemed to be good on health because I died. And we're going to be able to come all the way back here. Blow that guy up and maybe grab... Uh, nope, all good on health. So I can just keep on going right past these explosives. Let's just hop on through. And we'll open up the door. So, got a couple more rounds left. And I'm hoping that perhaps this will be the outside. So we're not out of the woods just yet, but we are going up, so that's a promising sign. And yes, we finally found some daylight! <laughs> oh man, does that feel nice. Just want to drink it in and... Uh, sounds like we got some gunfire going on over there. Let's go ahead and make sure that we're prepared. Combine. Yes, these guys have automatic weapons. They're alien commandos. Of course they have automatic weapons. We'd have them too, but Combine weapons are gene-coded, so out of luck. Unless you find one that's unbonded. Or you're open to some minor genetic modification. I'm... I'm good, Russ. I'm just gonna roll with these genes that I've got. So we have seen, finally, a Combine enemy that was potentially attackable, but I'm gonna let him go about his business and, uh, not get attacked by his fully automatic weapon. We had some foreshadowing there that might mean that we're on our way to an automatic weapon, so let's cross the bridge and see if we can expand our arsenal.